Hi guys! Hope you're good. Ah, I'm Ella Upman again, as always. So, <sighs> thing is, I'm down the in here every day. Yeah, thing is, my fiance and my mate, they keep cooking tea and I never make it because I'm always down here. So, yeah, so they think I'm avoiding them. But thing is, me down, me being down here, get time on my own and that. So I'm all good. Anyway, why does my camera keep on? Yeah, yeah. It seems that like every time I look this way, and they look back, and the exposure on the side of my face. No, I don't know. But as I was saying. No, I just need to, uh, I don't even know what I was saying. Anyway, I'm at my allotment anyway, so uh, I am going to do some planting because I have bought uh, some leeks and some spring onions from Tesco and I'm going to try and regrow them myself. But then again, a lot of the spring onions that I've got this year anyway, I've had to regrow myself from that spring. So, and one of them has got a flower, the other one's got buds and and the sum, which I've also uh, multiplied underground as well. So, yeah, it's just that there's a trend that's going on, like, to help save the planet and regrowing all your own stuff from like swap ball items so that's what i'm doing i've got my allotment so yeah i'm regrowing a lot of my own stuff so yeah so last night i bought two i bought a pack of two leeks and i actually brought them down early and put them in so I've also bought some more spring gunnies last night, which I put in and that. Also, all the garlic I'm growing this year, I've had to regrow myself from uh, garlic, which I've bought from the shop. I've, I, I've just been up to Tesco now, actually, and garlic, which I've bought, which as you know swap selling them for cooking and that but with this garlic we've all did the garlic we've got and we plant we the plant so I can grow my own garlic it's just that my family love garlic anyway so yeah and also a spring onions I've got spring onions so spring onions as you can see it's got all the leaves which have been chopped off, but it's got roots. But if you plant these, it, it's take them out of the bands and plant them all separate so they will root and grow. And I got these, I got the leeks, but these were reduced. So, so I've got three in there. So, what I'm going to do with them is plant them. So all the so that is three things I'm gonna be planting after I've finished with this video. And then once I've planted them I can show you where I put them and that and I can also show you the ones that I put in last night. Not no bought last night, put in earlier. I mean that's what I meant. So yeah. So I can't get any more economical and eco-friendly than regrowing all your own stuff from shop bought items. But then again, we yeah, but then again, growing all your own food in general is eco-friendly. It helps the environment and that. So that's what I'm doing. But the thing with me, I'm also trying to grow a few more of the exotic crops. But as I say, I've got a fig tree in the greenhouse here. So the, I've also got a maize lemon tree, which you might have seen in my previous videos. 
so yeah I've also got Cavendish behind the trees as well so the Cavendish behinders are the ones which are sold in supermarkets so yeah but the thing with the Cavendish behinders is that they don't really fall in the UK but I'm going to try it anyway, so I've got a passion flower which I'm growing for the fruit so hopefully we can get some passion fruit which is exotic and I've got a canary island date palm down here so I'm hoping one day I'll get some dates from it so mm. Also, with my cacti, uh, I've got some, a punch here cacti, which are the prickly pear cacti. So, the thing with them, they flower and produce fruit. So, I'm hoping with the prickly pear cacti, punch here types, I will get some fruit off them, because they're another exotic fruit. So, yeah. So the thing is I'm trying to grow exotic fruit and veg as well as we grow my own from shop items. So yeah, you can't get any eco friendly than that. There's a moth in here. Came near the moth. Hmm. Yeah, but the thing is with me, you like my wild flowers and that too. The thing, the thing about me, all I really want to do is help the environment, really. And do what I can to save the planet, which is going on a lot lately. So I might as well do my bit. Thing is, the thing is, in this shed, in this shed, I have got, in, I've got, a bird that's coming here and started nesting in the little alcove roof bit up there. So I've got a little, it's just that, it's just that a few weeks back I pulled a load of leaves down from up there and then a few days later came back and it's all up there again. And then, and then, but then again, early on, I came into the shed and there were a little bird flying around the shed against the window trying to get out. So yeah, we've actually got a bird nesting in the allotment shed. Well, might as well leave it. Might as well leave it, isn't it? At least it's helping the environment. At least this shed is a safe haven to raise its young, so... See what happens. Yeah, but the thing is, with me being down there, you need every day and that. It might disturb me anyway, but see what happens in it. See if it does nest and they get tricks in this shed. So I'm just happy that this shed is a safe haven for the birds. So. Yeah, maybe I can't. So maybe it, maybe if the birds do actually nest and they eggs and raise tricks in the shed, I can maybe record it. So 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 keep an eye on my channel, and then who knows, I might get a few videos of this nest that's in the shed, from the eggs to that the to that when the tricks leave the nest. That's what I mean, thing with the allotment that I'm part of. All they do is care about the environment and they try and help wildlife. So, I'd say I'm into my wildflowers and that uh, and growing things that attract wildlife. So, so birds are the same. Birds are just the same as, as far as I'm concerned. So, yeah. So, yeah, I do want to try and help wildlife and the environment so also this shed has got solar panels all we need to try and do is try and work out how to get solar panels working so it gives us electric so we just don't know what to do at the moment but i think but i think that this allotment is actually 
probably the one the most eco friendly so so I felt lucky with this plot really so So yeah, I think it's regrowing your own stuff. From shop or items is the trend which I'm part of. So but then again but then again growing your own stuff. You call friend to say, so Yeah but thing is yeah but thing is is that I also grow crops which aren't too common as well. So grow crops that aren't too common too. I also grow like flowers which aren't really used as crops. Just as African marigolds, French marigolds, I'd say that's a passion flower as well. So they point to a prickly pear cacti of them. So yeah, even though in the mental plants, if they're edible, I'm trying to grow myself as crops. But a lot of them, as in, as I've said, are as more exotic crops and that, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to cut this video off soon. So, and I'm going to get them planted up somewhere. I've got an idea where I'm going to put them, really, but just, just to get to see where I can put them. So. I actually, I did plant some garlic a couple of days back, which I've had down here because the garlic, as I said, the garlic I'm growing this year is all been grown from shop bought garlic. So, but this last couple of weeks, I've been on a bit of a shopping spree with buying like garlic. I planted the Lord a few days back, but I've still got one garlic left which is in here so, so we've got one garlic left from what i bought in the last couple of weeks all the rest have planted and then earlier as you know i bought this one so so that means yeah i've got two garlic to separate and plant as well as the spring onions i've just picked up and the three leaks so I'll get them planted up and then i'm going to water my plots and then let the plots drain and then i can do another video showing you where i've put different things but as i say that i planted two leaks last night and some spring onions not last night i bought them last night i planted them earlier well, oh, they were keeping them confused like that. But as I was saying, is that I bought them last night, I planted them earlier. So once I planted these ones, I've just picked up and found places for them. I do a little video showing you where I planted them. How many times have I said that? I've just realised, I think I've kind of repeated that about five times. I give up. Oh, I think because I'm repeating myself, I'm going to end the video. I'm repeating myself, so I'm going to end the video because I'm just running the overall ground. So, yeah, so. I end this video and then plant my pl uh, crops, then do another video. And they planted them. So, anyway, see you in the next video. Bye, 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 bye.